Hey, what is up everyone? This is uh, Spectrum Reviews back here with another video review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the um, uh, Halo Jack Specific 6 in series uh, Spartan Lock figure. And as you can see, he's in the packaging. And first and foremost, we're going to take a look at the packaging before we take a look at the figure. So, first off, just wanted to say the very nice rendition of the Halo logo on the top of the packaging as well as on the um, uh, actual top of the packaging. It's very standard Halo packaging. Um, it's almost the same as Chiefs, except for literally Spartan Lock, Spartan Lock, Spartan Lock, and yeah, the rest is the, exactly the same. You got your Alpha Wild uh, Crawler bu Builder figure here. Um, again, a nice uh, photo of uh, Spartan Lock's figure right there, looking all uh, painty and metallic -y. Nice looking back. Collect them all. I have two out of six so far. The Alpha Crawler with the, the, the uh, distorted color patterns looking uh, very awkward right there. Um, so yeah, without further, uh, so that's about it for the packaging. So without further ado, let's get him out here and see how cool he actually is. Alright, so here we are and there he is. And I believe that I may have called this guy the um, Jack, uh, a part of the Jack, Jack Specific series. I wanted to apologize about that because I um I heard that from some review on these guys from somewhere and it just kind of caught on to me, you know. But these are the uh, actually the uh, Mattel Halo Six Inch Series figures, Series One, not Jack specific. But anyway, so let's take a close look at, at the uh, accessories here. So he comes with the famous battle rifle, which uh, was redesigned in Halo Four, and I personally like the redesign of the uh, battle rifle. Looks very nice. It has a few paint apps, but Overall, you know, it works for me. I mean, I'll display it with Master Chief or Spartan Lock. And we have the, um, I believe this is the Plasma Caster. Got some nice purple paint going on here with some silver apps. A nice uh, red to break up the gray down there. Very nice. Unfortunately, no interchangeable hands, which is my one gripe about this guy. Well, not the only one, but, you know, overall, Spartan Lock's not a bad figure. I mean, I'm not going to hate on the guy. And I don't hate the character himself. I actually like Spartan Lock in Halo 5. But you got some nice uh, sculpted detail on the figure. All around. Very nice blue going through the back here. And the legs. Put him back there. Now my one gripe about this guy is um, probably the legs. They're a bit too meaty for me. Just, just a smidge. You know, and they're passable, you know what I mean? It doesn't hate, like, make me hate the figure, because I like this guy. You know, I like the figure. I've been playing with him for about a day now. And, um, <clears throat> you know, uh, I feel like I just got a bad copy. That's all I feel like happened. Because if you look at the bottom here, this foot piece is wider than that foot piece. But this foot piece is looser than this foot piece, which makes no sense to me. Um, you know, and that's not really too terribly bad. I mean, it's uh, it's acceptable for me. Um, but I feel like his joint was designed wrong in his head because, let me show you this here. Um, all right. So his head can only look up this far. And if you don't have him look it up, um, it won't lock into place and it'll be all loose like that. So you have to kind of lock it into that. And, um, the thing is, there's a hinge that makes his head go this way and this way. I feel like that should have been reversed to where he could look up and down rather than uh, tilt side to side. That's a bit odd to me. It, again, it's not like the end of the world for me for the figure because I do like him and I, I have him on display. But, you know, for me, that's just, it's just weird that they would incorporate that into this figure. And I'm not sure if it's only my copy because I only have one copy of the figure or if it's uh, international. But, you know, overall, he's not terrible. I mean, I'm not going to hit on the guy. The only, oh, the one last thing is the uh, shoulder pads are not accurate at all to the uh, game. They don't stick out as far as they should. And they're not a separate piece from uh, this piece right here. But again, it's not the end of the world, right? It's just uh, some things that I've noticed, really. Um, let's go over the articulation here. It's standard, just like Master Chief, really. Again, his head can only look up uh, this far. Tilt side to side, obviously. It can look down. Shoulders can go 360. If you uh, give them enough clearance, they can. Just like so. His uh, shoulders can go out that far. Rotate at the bicep. Oh, I just popped off the shoulder pad. Um, two bends at the elbow. But the uh, the other bend just gives it more leverage rather than just being a separate bend itself. So the bend in that far, not too bad. 
uh, shoulders hinge, not shoulders, uh, wrists a hinge up and down, which uh, my um, forearm piece is kind of blocking it here. Let's focus that a little bit more. There we go. Rotate 360. Ab crunch that far, that back, or that far back, and he can actually rotate his uh, lower torso all the way around. Um, his thighs can uh, kick out that far, which isn't too bad. They can kick back that far, which is uh, it's useful. Rotation at the thigh, they can go out that far, which is pretty nice. Double jointed knees, which I really like about this guy. Feet go down that far, up that far, and we have ankle pivot. Alrighty, for a fellow size comparison, here we have him next to the uh, Series 1 Master Chief and a Marvel Legends figure. This is the uh, black suited Spider Man here. As you can see, they all stack up very nicely together. Let's get these guys out of the way here. And, you know, this guy's not a horrible figure. I mean, I'm going to give him a solid uh, 7.5 out of 10. You know, because I do have fun with this guy, and he, I mean, I love the way he looks, honestly. The legs aren't even that bad to me. They're just not accurate. You know, it's just like the misaccuracies that I really noticed. But other than that, you know, it's a Spartan Lock figure, and, I mean, I'm sure we've been wanting one in the 6-inch uh, scale for a very long time. And we, fin we finally have one, and he's not terrible. You know, he's not the worst thing in the world. He's actually um pretty freaking awesome, you know. And I think that... um. They should uh, continue with this line because this line is awesome so far. Um, and overall, I just have to say that this guy is uh, pretty freaking awesome. I mean, you know, yeah, every figure has its flaws, you know what I mean? But, like, some figures have uh, things that make you overlook those flaws, such as nice sculpting on the torso and the helmet and the forearms. And, obviously, the underbody looks very nice as well. So that was it for my review. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and subscribe for more. This is Spectrum Review signing out. See you later.